The family of a third grade student who died by suicide is moving closer now to trial in its lawsuit against Cincinnati Public Schools. Attorneys for the estate of Gabrielle Taye and the attorneys for the school district met in federal court to argue for and against possible dismissal of some of the lawsuit's claims. Nine on your side, Josh Bazan is live outside the courthouse right now with the very latest information. Josh. Craig, judges in the U.S. Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals will now have to decide if the whole case will move to trial as it stands or if the school district made strong enough arguments to have some of the case dismissed. The school district still, three years later, has not told us what happened. Jennifer Branch is still looking for answers. They didn't save the video of that incident in the bathroom and we don't know who the boys were that were involved. She and the family of Gabriel Taye accused Cincinnati Public Schools and officials at Carson School of covering up years of bullying against the young boy that played a role in his 2017 suicide. Well, we learned that the last day that Gabe went to school, he was bullied again in the same boy's bathroom that was not supervised, and he came home and immediately committed suicide. Branch says this video shows a student attacking Taye in the bathroom where Taye would lay unconscious for seven minutes. Attorneys for Taye's family say just two days later, students again bullied Taye in the same bathroom by trying to flush his water bottle down the toilet. A few hours after the second incident, Taye died by suicide in his home. To hear what happened to Gabe and what the principal knew, what the assistant principal knew about how he was bullied and how he was hurt throughout his entire career at Carson Elementary. In the U.S. Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals, lawyers for Cincinnati Public Schools argued for judges to dismiss the wrongful death claims against the then principal and assistant principal at Carson. They say allowing the case to go forward opens up schools and school officials to broad liability on behaviors out of their control. The school district was arguing, wait, don't let this case go forward, we'll get sued all the time. And I said, great, you should be sued if you're covering this up. Cincinnati Public Schools says Taye's death is tragic, but that the board and school officials are not responsible for it. Attorneys say it could be weeks or months before this court hands down its decision. At that point, we'll know if the whole case will go to trial as it is or if those wrongful death claims will be dismissed. Reporting live at the U.S. Courthouse, Josh Bazan, 9 on your side.